Welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell. So when I'm uploading on YouTube, you are notified. We're getting close to the end of the year. We're getting close to the end of the year. I'm finally starting to catch up on some more makeup reviews. So I'm going to bring you yet another makeup review. I am bringing you guys a makeup review. Most of it, I think pretty much everything with the exception of one or two products. Everything is drugstore except by two products, and one is a retest. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this makeup review. But before we get started, you know, Christmas shopping is going on right now. We're doing a lot of Christmas shopping, so now is the time to start preparing to get some Christmas gifts and what people like and so forth. So I wanna thank Dossier for working with me on this portion of the video. Um, if you're not familiar with Dossier, I have talked about Dossier before. Dossier has become one of my all time favorite brands when it comes to fragrances. So let me show you Dossier. Dossier, when you receive it, it does come in a package just like this. I'm gonna tell y'all about Dossier. Um, <laughs> They make some of the best inspired perfumes from some of your favorite high-end brands, such as Tom Ford, Dolce & Gabbana, um, um, Dior, and so forth. Um, the brand I have today, this is called Floral Peony. Or Floral Peony, here it is. Look how big this bottle is, and look how much you get. This is the inspired brand by Chloe. If you're not familiar with Chloe, you know Chloe has been around for a long time. Um, this is their inspired scent called the Floral Peony. Um, their perfumes, instead of paying hundreds of dollars for the perfumes, this bottle is $29, okay? And they have perfumes that are $29, $39, and $49. You're not gonna go no higher than that. And here's a little secret about them. I just found out about them. Some of their products about to be in Walmart. I'm, I'm just saying. So if you want to really test out a uh, dossier, some of their stuff about to be in Walmart. I'm, I'm just saying some of their stuff about to be in Walmart so you can actually test it out. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so this is how much you get in the bottle. And when I tell you these scents last a very, very, very long time, these are long lasting scents. These are perfumes. I have had so many perfumes from Dossier. I have gone through several bottles. That's how good this brand is. Again, you don't have to spend the hundreds and hundreds of dollars on perfume for some of your favorite high-end brands. This is $29, and this is how much you get. Again, you have some that are $39, and then you have some that are $49, and you ain't going no further than $49. So you're not gonna spend $95, $100, $150, $200 for some perfume or cologne, because they have perfumes, they have colognes, and they do have unisex scents as well. Plus they are cruelty free vegan and paraben free so you will absolutely love dossier they are my favorite my absolute favorite brand i will put a link for you guys in the bottom of the description box so you can check out dossier the this thing. i wish you could have like a scratch and sniff so you can smell it this smells so good. I get so many compliments every time I am wearing Dossier. I am in love with Dossier. So check them out. Again, I will put a link for you guys in the bottom of the, in the, bottom of the description box. So yeah, I have, after this video, I do have a couple of errands that I have to go run. One of them is to drop off orders for my brand. So yeah, check them out. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed and you will save a lot of shmoney with Dossier. So let's get started with this makeup review. As always, I do have my handy dandy mirror with me. Let's go ahead and get started with primer. I think I've had this primer before. Oh, duh, I did. This is a retest. Duh. I don't know why I'm thinking it's another brand, but that's because it's part of my upcoming makeup to test. I'm trying to get through the rest of the makeup that I'm testing 
for the rest of this year as well as dive into the seven days of makeup looks um so this is a retest um this is the makeup forever pore minimizing face primer i believe i tested this out initially when i did a makeup review featuring makeup revolution i believe makeup revolution makeup forever so i did try this out i think it's okay i don't know if this is going to be a primer i'm going to purchase again probably not um so this is a pore minimizing primer this is what it looks like I'm gonna say this about it. Overall, it's okay. Not really wowing me. It isn't. It's okay. It's just okay. Um, it is pore minimizing. And if I'm not mistaken, this does leave a little bit of a cast, which that's fine because I am gonna have foundation and so forth on top of this. So that white cast is not really bothering me too 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 much but it is supposed to be a pore minimizing primer it has a little bit of a scent to it but it's not an overpowering scent or anything like that not anything that's going to break you out or anything like that so if you are sensitive to scents like i am you have to be real careful with any products you put on your face with scents Yeah, it's leaving a little bit of a cast, but that's fine because I am going to have foundation on top of it. Uh, actually, it's not a foundation. It's a tinted moisturizer. Boy, we got a story about this tinted moisturizer. Let me tell y'all. Next is foundation, which is technically not a foundation. This is a tinted moisturizer. I've heard a lot of people talk about how good this is it a tinted moisturizer or a foundation? I think this is a foundation. I've heard a lot of people talk about how good this foundation is. And then it's a drugstore foundation. My problem is I'm going to need to do better with that dog on shade range. Because the shade range is ridiculous. Okay? Okay. What I am talking about. This is from Essence. This is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Let me tell you something about it. Let's have a conversation, Essence. Let's have a conversation. The shade I have, right here in my hand, this is 260. I put this foundation on me. I'm gonna let y'all see. I'm gonna let y'all see. First of all, it's not badly priced because the foundation does. I got it out of Ulta. It was 6.99. This is 260. See how light this sucker is. This sucker is light, and I put it on my face, y'all. You want to talk about somebody was great? I was gray. Do you understand me? I was gray, y'all. I was gray. I was gray. What fun for it? The first shade I got out of this was shade 230. I was even more gray. Okay? And it was supposed to be in a darker shade and it still wasn't dark. It was extra light. So, I put 260 on I was even more light. I was still light. So, I had then went back to Ulta. So, now I got 280. I ain't took it out the box yet. It was the darkest one they had on the ship. So, we're getting ready to try this one out together to see if this is going to work for my melanated skin. Again, this is my first time even trying this shade out. Because I have been through two shades already. And they ain't working for me. So I'm going to need Essence to do a little bit better with their shade range. Because right now, y'all shade range ain't nothing. I don't like y'all shade range right now. But, I will say this about the foundation though. As bad as I don't like your shade range. Your shade range sucks. Finish isn't bad. You have a very good foundation. I'm going to need you to do better with the shade range, though. That is the one downfall, or I should say the biggest downfall about this foundation. Your shade range sucks. It's not that many shades and definitely not enough for my darker skinned people. And I'm going to need y'all to do better in that category, Essence. And the foundation is very, very affordable. But again, I'm going to need y'all to get some more darker shades here. Because this is foundation number three for me with Essence. And I shouldn't have to keep doing this. And then I just grabbed the absolute darkest one I found. And it was in the store. 
at Ulta. So I'm gonna need y'all to lip it better. So we're gonna try this out. Let's see, this look too red. It is a little warm, a little too warm. If you hear noise in the background, it's raining here. And I mean, it's raining. And it's supposed to rain all day today. Like, all day. All right, let me say something about this. The shade range absolutely sucks. Shade range sucks. Your shade range sucks. It sucks. However, the finish of this, and I said this before, I'm gonna add a little bit more around my mouth area here. Um, I don't like your shade range, but your finish is awesome. The finish is really, really good. Very, it's a, it's a, definitely, it's a glowy foundation, but it's not an overly glowy foundation. Um, cause it is a hydrating foundation. It does say that it is indeed, um, hydrating. Um, your shade range shut. And this is going on me a little too red. It is red. But. With concealer and everything, I think I can balance it out and make it work. I'm going to need y'all to do better with your shade range. Your finish isn't bad. Your shade range ain't working. And this is a little red on me. And I can definitely tell in this area up here, I am a little too red. Next is concealer. Concealer is new to me. It is new to me. I like their other concealer. The other concealer is really, really good. I have made the mistake of throwing the other concealer away, so I did a re-up on that. Just so after I did the re-up, y'all came out with another concealer. And y'all already released the foundation, which I really do like. Um, so this is from the Sephora Collection. This is the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Concealer. I really do like that foundation from the Sephora Collection. Um, so now I have the concealer. And I'm going to say this. The concealer is not bad. It is not bad this is the size of the Dover applicator um i believe i don't know what shade i got this is pretty full coverage it is a full coverage concealer kind of got to watch how much i put but i think we can make this work with this red foundation i got on what shade is this I believe this is 35N. That's what I have. That is the shade that I have for this concealer. I do like the concealer. Um, just like the foundation from um, the Sephora collection. I like this concealer. This is a very good uh, concealer. But again, it is pretty for coverage. As you can see, look up for coverage right here. Yeah, this for coverage. So I am going to form my reverse contour with this concealer put concealer on my eyes for my eyeshadow base the eyeshadow is kind of a retest um but i pretty much know how i feel about it now but we'll talk about it in a minute look at that i love this concealer love it absolutely love it so again, if you're a fan of the Best Skin Ever Foundation from the Sephora Collection, you're going to like this. Um, but to me, it seems like it's the right full coverage. I don't know why. There's no right or wrong way. It's either full coverage or it's not full coverage. But to me, this is like a right balance of concealer for it to for the coverage that it's giving. It's giving to me the right amount of coverage. And I really do like this concealer. I can see me using this concealer um, quite a bit. I can really see myself using this quite a bit because um, starting next year, I'm doing a lot of changes in my career path. There's going to be a lot of changes. 
a lot of changes in my career path. And this might be one of the ones that's going to help in that. So, but yeah, look at that finish of the concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. This is a very good concealer. Don't think it's going to crease on me. I wore this concealer before and it didn't crease on me. Um, I actually like the coverage of this concealer and I liked it before when I wore it before. But yeah, I like this. What do y'all think? I really do like this concealer. I like this concealer, y'all. I like it. I really do. And it's actually helping this foundation I'm wearing. It's really helping out a lot. For those of you that are new to my channel, I usually set my face twice, but I'm not going to set it twice. I'm going to do it once. Um, but I am going to go over with a bronzer that is a retest. Um, so for the setting powder, um, we're going back to Essence. This is the Essence My Skin Perfector um, Loose Fixing Powder. Um, this is the medium deep shade. So here it is. That is what I'm wearing, what I'm going to put on my face. So this is actually going to go all over the face. And then this is what it looks like. So it is a nice uh, medium deep color. Um... I will say this is not a bad powder. It is not bad. Do I see myself picking this up a lot? Not really. I don't. I have my staple setting powders drugstore wise that I really like. My number one favorite drugstore setting powder is the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, loose setting powder that is my ride or die go to whatever whatever I need to re-up on that one because I've used quite a bit of that and I need to be up but that is my number one absolute favorite drugstore setting powder if you want to talk about number one favorite high-end setting powder for me that would be um, Fenty Beauty um, but this powder is not bad it is not a bad setting powder like I said, I usually highlight with the first setting powder and then the rest is all over my face. I'm just going to dust it all over the face. And I really do like it. Check that out. So it's not a bad setting powder. It, it really isn't a bad setting powder. Really isn't. I don't know if I, I think I have to just keep playing with it, keep messing with it to see how I feel. I don't know if I would gravitate to this a whole, whole, whole lot. Did knock down some of the shine a little bit that I had going on, but it wasn't like it was a whole bunch of shine because, again, it is a hydrating foundation. Um, but yeah, the powder is not bad at all. I'm just loving this concealer, though. I'm loving this concealer. I really do like this concealer. I really do. I really, really do. I really do. Next is bronzer. Bronzer is a retest. And I think I'm only doing this as a retest because I don't think I gave it a fair shake the first time I tried it out. And so many people love this, this bronzer. Um, so I wanted to give it a fair shake because I did not give it a fair shake the first time. Um, so we're going to NYX. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. Um, yeah, a lot of people love this bronzer from NYX, but I don't know. I don't know if I really care for it because, again, I don't think I gave it um, a fair shot. This is the Deep Tan um bronzer this is what it looks like i know it looks a little light on the camera um but it is a dark powder um the light is just not giving it any justice and what i do with my bronzer i just put it all over the face this is not a bad bronzer now that i'm giving it a fair try now this is not bad at all i really do like this bronzer now I see why y'all like this bronzer. Next is blush. Blush is new. It's new. Don't know how long this has been out. I was in Ulta. And I passed by and I went, I ain't never seen this before. How long has this been out? I don't even remember anybody talking about this. Um, so the blush I picked up, this is a cream blush from Morphe. Um, I've never seen this before. And when I walked by, I'm like, why ain't nobody talking about this? Okay, let me, let me see what this is all about. This is the Morphe Blush Balm. Um, that's what it's called. Here it is. 
when I tell you I have not heard anybody talk about this, um, I didn't know anything about this. I don't, I want to say I still saw some at Ulta. This is what it looks like. Um, this is a cream blush. Um, yeah, I just was like, okay, um, yeah. So I'm going to take my stippling brush. I'm going to take a small brush because this is a cream blush. And it is kind of pigmented. This is my bigger mirror. Yeah. Depends on how much you pick up, you get some color. Now I am patting a cream on top of a powder. You pat, do not swipe. Cause if you swipe, you're gonna take all your makeup off. I made that mistake one time and took all my makeup off and I had to start all over. Pat, and you pat in the area. See? So this blush is not a bad blush. Why am I trying to tap off cream? <laughs> now that I went a little too ham on. So now I got to even it out here. But this is not a bad blush. It's not bad. Next is eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is a retest. And I've actually worn this eyeshadow palette a few times more. And I want to be honest with you, I kind of like it now. I kinda, you hear me say I kind of like it now. Kind of like it. This is from a long while back. This is the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. Um, what they did was, this is their Balm Posse Eyeshadow Palette. Remember when they came out with this? This eyeshadow palette? There's a lot of eyeshadow palettes from Fenty Beauty. I have to hold my breath on because a lot of the eyeshadow palettes ain't good. Um, I've sold some of them on my Poshmark because they're just simply not any good. But as you can see, since then, I have literally gravitated to just this side right here. And I like it. I, I now like the palette. I do wear it from time to time. So we're going to wear it again today. Um, so we're just going to do a very simple um, eyeshadow look. So in my crease area, I am going to go in with this dark brown shade right here. I am going to put that in my crease. And you do get some pigment this time. So I don't know if that formula changed from those snap shadows. Y'all remember them snap shadows? They were okay, just still didn't bring the pigment. Even that other eyeshadow palette, that first one she had, I got rid of that one because it had zero color. Zero. All right, on my lid, you know what? Let's put this little copper shade right here. We're going to put that shade right here. I'm going to put that on my lid. Next is setting spray. This is a retest of setting spray. Uh, so this is from a Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. I know I'm way late with this. But um, I've had this setting spray a few years ago and I didn't care for it. So I tried it again. I still was like, hmm. So I'm going to try this again. This is like third time, fourth time I'm trying this again. I ain't too ticky about that smell. I don't know why it smells like ro rotten coconuts. I don't know. <laughs> Cause I think I got this from Sephora. Uh, yeah, I got it from I got this from Sephora. Um, I'm still not sold on this three on one. <laughs> and this is like years later. I'm still not sold on it. Um. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of is a lot of people like this hangover spray. Yeah, it brought out oil, and I did shake it up. I think that's another reason I don't like it. It looks like it's oily, and I ain't trying to be oily. Next is mascara. Um, I decided to um, try this mascara out. Um, this mascara is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline the Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. 
me tell y'all about this mascara. Basically, any mascara from Maybelline. This is the brush. This is what the brush looks like. I like the fact that it's giving me lift. If you're like me and don't wear false lashes. However, See how this is giving me a lot of volume? You can tell the difference between this eye and this eye. My problem with all mascaras from Maybelline, whatever ingredient they are using in their mascaras, I must be allergic to it or something in this their mascaras break me out. I am taking a chance wearing this mascara and I'm doing this for you guys. They're very popular mascaras. The Last Sensational mascaras. I loved that mascara. Oh my goodness. You want to talk about a mascara that could give you lift? Was that one from Maybelline. The Last Sensational. That sucker was sold out everywhere. It was sold out everywhere. I had to go searching for that thing. And found it and I was wearing it but I could not understand why my eyes would always itch and water and I realized every time I wore a mascara from Maybelline my eyes would itch and water and I really really was hoping that this mascara wouldn't do that because I love their mascaras they just make me itch and water. And I believe whatever the ingredient that they're using in their mascaras, it ain't working for my body or my skin. And I always, my eyes always end up very itchy. I put it on my eyes. I'm taking a chance with this. And I'm wearing this because of y'all. This mascara is an awesome mascara. It gave my lashes lift. I cannot tolerate it. So I'm probably, whenever I get done with my errands, I'm going to have to wash this off almost immediately because it will irritate my eyes after so many hours. As again, I had to throw away that last sensational mascara of Maybelline when I realized it was the mascara that was breaking me out. And it wasn't like breaking me out, it makes me itch. But any of the other mascaras didn't do that. Same thing, I would take it fresh out the package and put it on just like this. I take it fresh out the package, put it on, my eyes itched and watered. Same with the last sensational. Took it out the packet, brand new, put it on, could not understand why my eyes were itching really, really bad, really, really watering until I realized it was the mascara. And it's the only mascara that would do me that. Any of the other mascaras I wear, it doesn't do me that. Only any, only the ones from Maybelline. So as much as this is a great mascara, I can't wear it after today. So today is going to be my last day wearing this mascara. I'm going to have to give this up. I'm probably going to give this to my other daughter. I'm going to give this to her. I can't wear it. I am not going to give this to a stranger because it's been on my eyes. I'm not going to do that. Um, Because my other daughter is very well known for going in my makeup. And she knows I have lots of makeup. She very well known going in my mascaras, my lipsticks. <laughs> She's in my brushes, sponges, all of it. <laughs> Last but not least, lip, uh, lip, lip, <laughs> lip is not new. It's just a different shade. Um, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I love their glosses. Their glosses is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. These are very affordable. So I am going to go in with this. So this is not new. All right. So let's go back through everything. Um, like I said before, um, the Maybelline, um, the Colossal um, Curl Bounce Mascara. This is a great mascara if you're not allergic to any of the ingredients. This is an awesome mascara. I personally 
cannot wear this mascara so i will be giving this mascara away to my other daughter because i can't wear it but if you're a person like me that does not wear false lashes this is an awesome mascara along with the last sensational mascara from maybelline that's a very very good mascara so i would put this in my everyday stag but it's just not going to be feasible for me so i am going to give this to my daughter The Too Faced 3-in-1 Hangover Spray, I cannot get with this spray. This is the third, no, third or fourth time I have tried this out and I still cannot get with this spray. I still don't know what y'all see in this. So unfortunately for me, this Hangover Spray is a makeup no-no for me. The Cream Blush from Morphe. This is a very pigmented cream blush. You gotta be careful with it. Depends on how much you put on. As you can see, I had gone a little bit overboard. Um, but this is a good blush. This is a very good cream blush. Um, no issues, no problems, or anything like that. So I will be moving this cream blush into my everyday stack. Bronzer from NYX. Now I like it. Now since I've given it a fair shake, I really do like this bronzer. I really, really do. Does give a lot of pigment and color. And now I see why so many people really do like this. So this is going into my everyday stack. In a Perfector loose setting powder. This is a pretty good setting powder. Don't think I would really use it all the time, but I will put this in my everyday stack. Again, it's not bad. I really wouldn't say it'd be a favorite, but I will put this setting powder in my everyday stack. This foundation. Essence, pretty natural, hydrating foundation. Like I said before, I'm gonna need y'all to do better with that shade range. This third foundation I had to get. And then this third one I got is too red. It's The finish is not bad. It's not bad, it's affordable. I think I paid seven bucks for this foundation at Ulta, seven bucks. But I'm gonna need y'all to do better with your shade range. Um, the finish is not bad, I like the finish. I do, I like the finish. But I need you to do better with your shade range. For the time being, I will move this foundation into my everyday stack. Collection Better Than Skin Concealer. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I like this better than that other Sephora uh, collection concealer. And that concealer is pretty good. But something about this one, it's like wow. This is a wow for me. So this concealer from the Sephora collection, favorite 2022. Primer from Makeup Forever. It's okay. It's okay. Don't really see myself picking this up a whole lot. Um, might finish it out. Would I get another one? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but I might have plans for this primer. So for the time being, this primer is going to go into my everyday stack. It on highlighter, y'all. I had a highlighter here that I was trying to retest. This is the Catrice highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and put this highlighter on because I had to totally, totally, y'all, was moving on, had finished up, and had forgot about this little highlighter. I think the highlighter is not bad. It's very intense, and you just need just a little bit. You need just a little bit of this little highlighter here. So I'm gonna be gonna put a little highlighter on, but this highlighter, you just need a little bit. So I am going to put this highlighter in my everyday stack. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this highlighter in my everyday Yeah. In my everyday stack. Yeah. This. You just need a little bit. You just need a little bit. As we speak right now. So let me go ahead. Let me put my perfume on from Dossier. So I will put a link for you guys in the bottom of the description box. So you guys can check out Dossier. Again, the Christmas holidays are here. People have already started their Christmas shopping. This is an awesome Christmas gift for somebody. And again, they will be in Walmart stores. I don't know if they're in there now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this on. Yes. It's really good. <laughs> so again, check out uh, Dossier. I will again put a link for you guys in the bottom of the description box. So you check them out. Again, $29, $39, and $49 for some of your favorite high-end perfumes. And these perfumes last. A very long time. So with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.